Hey boys, welcome back to some more Beer Pro here, round 20 of the season, and uh, we're taking on the Warriors who are in 5th spot, <laughs> we're in 4th spot somehow, I mean the team have, uh, you know, they were winning all their games when I was injured, but personally we haven't been a part of too many, too many victories, uh, last episode it was a draw against the Rabbitohs, I'm pretty sure, but uh, the Warriors, I actually, I'm sort of thinking this I don't even know if this would be the, the Warriors under 20 side, because I know there was like an issue with the game, with the game like the sort of the the times and the Warriors feeder clubs were like mixed around. I think maybe the 20s were okay, but I know like Queensland Cup and obviously the New South Wales Cup, they were all mixed around, which is weird. Uh, so hopefully this is the correct Warriors under 20s team, but you know, they're... Uh, haven't really, like I, like I said before, haven't kept up to date with any of the under-20 stuff, but uh, the Warriors in the past have always been pretty... Actually, I think the Warriors, like... I, I think the Warriors last couple of years have actually not been very good. I know, like, when the concept first came in, the Warriors were always, like, one of the best. It was always, like, the Warriors, they just had big guys. They had big guys all across the park, and they, they were very dominant... Um, well, not very dominant. They could still lose, but they are always one of the best teams. But from, I don't know, I've just got a feeling that last, this year and maybe last year, they just haven't been going that well. But I'm not, uh, not entirely sure about that. They're probably, they're probably killing it. So, you know, it's whatever. But uh, last play here, going to put up a bomb. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we're going to put it down. Actually, watching this live, I thought it hit the hit the post, but watching in a replay, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it did hit the post further up, but we just dropped it, um, it's always weird, like, I don't know why sometimes when the bomb goes up like that, it gets rid of, like, the little timing meter goes away, I don't know why that happens, like, that was, like, when that kick went up, it had the timing meter there for a second, but then it went away, which I don't know why, um, from playing a fair bit, I feel like it goes away a lot when, there's no one contest that's going to be, like, contesting it with you, so maybe they're just like, oh, he's going to take it, you don't need to time it, but I don't, I don't know exactly why it goes away sometimes, but, yeah, a fairly, a fairly unfortunate way to concede the first try. Um, we did have a nice run there, looking to set up our outside men, but uh, just trying to get into this game. I did actually, uh, I also switched up the camera angle back to the, uh, the more standard beer pro camera angle, I, uh, you know, I was playing around with just some more standard gameplay uh, camera angle, but I thought, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to this camera angle. I do like this angle a lot, but I I always thought in Rugby League Live 3, I eventually, like, found that the other camera angle you could play better, and it just was easier to, you know, get things going in attack, but this camera angle, this camera angle looks, uh, looks pretty good, so we'll stick with this for a while as uh, the kick goes in, and Ricky... <laughs> He's just going to put the moves on between us and the winger, and he's going to race away. There's no one that's going to catch him. There was no point in us chasing, wasting our stamina. We were no shot, so, yeah, a, uh, you know, it wasn't the worst kick. It was, he went straight to him on the full, but we should have done a better job of uh, of covering that, uh, that side there, but he just stepped straight between us, the fancy footwork. And the Warriors are going to go up 12-0 in this game. We really haven't had any chance in attack at all. So 12-0 is probably a fairly good reflection. Um, but also at the same time, the Warriors tries have not been that amazing either. One uh, one just spilled from us and the second one just the length of the field effort with the winger. But coming back from the break, we actually get a rare chance with the footy close to the Warriors try line. So fourth play here. They're going to look to uh, spread it out to the left here and uh, it's going to knock it on. Boy oh boy we finally get a chance and I think he was going to like put in a little grubber kick which yeah rush of blood just just wait till last play let it to um you know your playmakers to put in the kick but uh, we do get another chance 50 minutes into the game here. It's going to be uh, a good kick across the face and that's uh, that sort of try you see quite a bit the AI do throw that uh that kick play at uh, at the defense quite a bit. This time it works a treat for for us in particular. A well worked little try there is Oscar Carter is going to look to convert. I wish we were goal kicking, dude. <laughs> I'm still so mad that I missed my opportunity to to take the goal kicks. 
But, uh, you know, that's the way it is. Hopefully, um, you know, I don't know, when we... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what contracts we get at the end of this season. You know, it's not going to be any amazing contracts, but hopefully we can, you know, progress to be the goal kicker if we stay with the, the under-20s Cowboys or, you know, go somewhere else. It's right here. They're going to pluck it out of the air. That Another one-handed intercept. I, I sometimes feel like the intercepts are a little a little overpowered as right here. They actually spread it to the blind side. And it just gets put down. Oh, it actually... I was actually, I was wondering what the hell happened with that, because he just sort of, like, kicked it out, but, yeah, it came off the centers, like, chest, and the winger was expecting the ball, it hit the deck, and he just sort of knocked it out, so, <laughs> luckily for us, 12-6, we're still in this game, so, you know, play good here, but unfortunately, oh, man, oh, we just get absolutely smashed right there, fairly annoying, because I, I called for the ball originally from the first man who had it I just wanted the inside pass but they passed it one wide and obviously when you call for the ball they still try to get it to you so he passed it back when I was under all sorts of pressure I got just destroyed and ball got knocked loose and uh they came around away with it but we get a little bit of re revenge right there I think it was Papali the front rower went straight through and we just lined him up he wasn't going to be running around us, so just smashed him. But then he's going to get the ball some... I don't actually know what happened with that one. It sort of just... He passed the ball back to us, but he intercepted... It was very strange. And on the back of that, the Warriors start to run away with this game. I thought we were in with a good chance to actually make a, uh, a decent come-from-behind victory. But all of a sudden, if he converts this kick, which he does... Does... <laughs> it's going to be 24-6, to So, yeah, not, uh, not a great last... 10 or so minutes here as uh, we're going to get a chance here to attack we go straight through one to beat we beat him but uh, the cover defense scrambles well and uh, makes a tackle but a good opportunity to uh, get a little consolation try but unfortunately <laughs> again that long pass out the defense just rushes up puts the big shot on and uh, causes another turnover as uh, down the inside here we, uh, we get one last chance a minute to go probably one one play remaining so trying to get in position for something you're gonna spread it out no it's not gonna hit me here we go that's over the sideline game set and match poor poor way to finish but yeah we we had some chances but too many errors once again hopefully you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and i'll see you guys in the next one